All right. Hey guys, what's up as well? If you're one and only how all my adventures are doing. So welcome back to Sam Moore. Reputation memories. So it is taking me at least a week or two to get prepared with the limited amount of time that I've been actually like, you know, jumping on, doing dailies, getting that XP so I can go up faster and just hopping off. And also took a lot of gold off my character. So that's also another thing as well that I had to keep track of. So it, it wasn't too difficult because people were actually putting in the material I needed for my gear. So that's pretty much done. I have all my combat gear. Well, Druid's uh, yellow gear is combat gear set. And I am now done with that. All I need to do now is to get to 85. So I am pretty much done with getting to level 80 right now. As you guys will see, I will show you guys, you know, just the various progress that I've done in getting my XP. And it's it's not well, technically it is free to play friendly since clay is very cheap in this game. So you would just go in, you know, with the gold you saved up and sell a few things too because most like scrolls cost like a decent around like a hundred or 80 gold so you can get gold pretty easily and you can get like 20 magic clay pieces for 600 for around 600 gold like it's it's literally that cheap inside of uh memories and just to get that xp and you can also use some gold to go and get the alchemy clay from the alchemist as well and start rolling on the O banner. Well, the O uh, table. So, yeah, that's mainly how I got my XP. Then I went to go do the bring on quest as well and started to get that done. And anytime the crafting quest came up, I would do that as well. I would also do a few quests now and then if I had the time along with the whole bring it on quest as well. I would also do the gear enchantment quest. Here's the next level up I actually saved. I actually been trying to save up this. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this uh, voiceover commentary instead of like, you know, just like live. Because I can actually do voiceover gameplay like very easily. It's not really all that hard. Honestly, I could just sit here and chill, talk to you guys about a few things and just show gameplay of everything as well. But um, but yeah, my experience on grinding to level 80, it took a while and I relied a lot on the daily quests, which most of the time you should. But it also was requesting like, there was uh, other dungeons as well. So you would have to get in the party and start doing those. I actually skipped over those because I was just like, eh, I don't really have time to start looking for a group and actually going in with them and stuff like that. So I'm just going to skip that <laughs> and uh, just keep grinding the old fashioned way. Now, quest XP is like overall quest XP outside of dungeons is not all that great i can definitely tell you that it's still pretty much the low on a low end but i will say this the time five xp actually makes the progress a little bit faster but i well actually there was a this person on my friend list i think it's the old yeah the old guildmate i was talking about like a few episodes ago um i'll say they jumped to level 85 and just like a few days i was sitting here like god damn dude that's that's a grind but i keep missing the 5 xp because i'm busy every time they like you know drop it so i'm not sure how good it is or anything like that so i gotta ask how sooner or later how long that actually lasts when they uh, when they put up the 5 xp announcement well five times xp announcement because I always keep missing it or either if it goes on for an hour, I'm always busy. Then as soon as the hour's over, then I I'm free. 
Either that or so on weekdays, and I'm just like, oh shit, <laughs> I can't, I can't do that right now. I am, I am occupied. <laughs> but it's all good though because it, it's been pretty decent. I say there are still a lot of things I can and can't do as of right now. Even with the combat gear, I am still pretty squishy. Even with it being like plus nine, uh, I don't think there is a plus thirteen. I don't know why that question shows up because i haven't seen like any any items unless they made the enchantment for plus 13 like probably untradeable you can only get it through events that'll be my only other guess about that but either way it goes i'm probably not gonna end up doing that event if there is one because this probably has to do with something of being social <laughs> i'm anti-social i'm introvert i can't i can't deal with like a large group of so socializing that's why i solo so yeah <laughs> anywho the grind wasn't all that bad it was actually like pretty easily just for like you know jumping on jumping off it probably took since the last video that yeah probably like two weeks for sure i believe because i i made sure to try and log on every day and get my um dailies done at least the selective ones that are actually ones i can reach okay so right here i'm testing forbidden temple like early just to see what i can do and see what how i was talking about it seems just to be a very hard cluster of enemies. I'd say they shouldn't be too hard to kill with a group with the amount of damage I'm taking. As long as I'm not getting one shot, I should be good. And as long as you have a tank that isn't getting one shot, my gorilla form could probably live this pretty easily as long as we're slow pulling. I say that shouldn't be an issue as long as we're slow pulling. I tried to also see how Anubis would do in here. She also gets like pretty damaged. But at this point, Anubis is just a little bit of extra damage. She shouldn't be used as a tank anymore. As I, as you can see, I'm I'm dealing damage. As I, it's not too bad. Also, I'm I'm not happy you guys changed changed mana region into a hammer hammer damage. It wasn't melee damage. It was one of the two because I don't feel it at all. I say I'm still hitting the same damage I have been hitting even inside of this video with crits. I say nothing has went up. Like I feel like my stats aren't like actually together i feel like it's just level based with your weapons just giving extra stats that that's how it feels at the moment not sure if that's that's what they were going for or what's intended it doesn't feel like stats are existing right now <laughs> cuz i put on buffs and it's just like oh damn dude i'm still getting chunked for a, a, what feels like the same amount. <laughs> the only thing I see going up is my HP. <laughs> but the only issue with this, with um, the private server, is the same slight issue. Well, this one's a little bit more lenient since gold is easier to obtain inside of um, memories, the private server memories, because. It still suffers from getting gold. You have to stop your progress to go get gold and get back geared up. But that's not an issue. Well, much of an issue as it is inside the actual, like, you know, official server. The official server is a lot more chaotic because you can't really sell things. I say I've noticed that anytime I was to sell an item inside of, you know, the official server, it's either... It won't sell unless it's high priority. Or it won't sell 
at all. Why in this server, if I put in a low pro like a low priority item at a decent price, it'll actually sell. And right now, I'm actually happy about this because the first server is actually changing shit that I've already had on my list to complain about is gold limit. Gold limit shouldn't be stuck at freaking 90k. They just recently changed it to 900k which is great. I'm happy to see them changing things. And they just actually reworked the last classes, which was uh, Drifter and Machinist, which I am proud of them for because they're actually getting updates done. And they even changed their launcher and everything. I'm just sitting here like, oh my God, this is game changer. They're, they're actually doing shit. I'm, I can't handle that right now because I'm not used to them doing shit. <laughs> They even fixed some uh, bosses and shit like that. They also fixed archives, which was for the longest time had like so many items you could not put in archive, which cluttered people's banks and shit, which we hated so much. So I'm happy they actually fixed that. Like that's that's great. They're making progress. Like, geez, it has just took them so long. But it makes sense because making making new content isn't easy. I say at least if they would have gave people a roadmap, people would have been more calm, you know, because roadmaps normally calm people down and have them into like a waiting progress. But they didn't they don't explain anything. They just release a new a new rework and don't explain the fucking list still of what the fuck they changed because I don't know what the fuck they changed on Drifter at all because uh it doesn't fucking say <laughs> cuz uh Keymaster still looks the fucking same so yeah maybe it was just adjustment to HP and shit like that it's still weak it still feels weak as hell <laughs> i guess that's just me playing it <laughs> but um i will say this um inside of uh memories I did get like all of my gear up to date, even the emblems. That's up to date as well, which I don't know if I show in this uh, video because it was just basically like, okay, I need to do this and get off type of situation. I said I would do it now, but I'm too lazy. But I'm I'm happy on the progress of like the private server and the official server. I say, as long as you guys are, like, making your game and your private server unique. Well, as long as you're making your private server unique from the official, that's that's all I want to see. I want to see people doing, like, very different shit, like, across the board. Like, this private server has this skill that's very different. This private server has this skill that's very different. This one has gear that's very different and not the exact same of the official server. Like, I want to see, like, really cool changes, which is what I'm hoping to see with the other private servers. Um, I'm, I'm probably at a point to where I should start looking at the rest of the servers and come back to this end game later. Just to have, just to give them time to, you know, get things going a little bit more because they are, like, you know, fixing a lot of shit, changing a lot of shit, just to give them time to actually give them a fair, like, you know, placement amongst the private servers. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a new server, like a freshly new server that's probably been up for like, hold on, let me look at this Discord, because I don't feel like they've been up for like extremely long. It doesn't feel like like it is uh let's see when was their first announcement of the rules so does it okay so their rule no the register was set up in october the 23rd their language welcome was set up in august the 23rd so yeah they they've been around since the 23rd huh
Hold on. Let's let's go up a little bit more. This is gonna be a while. Wish I could just sort by the Otis message. Yeah, seems like the twenty yeah, it's at the start of like well, halfway through the twenty third is when they officially started. So around August. Is when they truly started. That's that's interesting. So I think I'm gonna probably wrap this up with uh, the level eighty video, and probably come back and give them more time to like you know flesh everything flush everything out, you know, just get that going. Cause it wouldn't be fair just to place them as soon as like, because there's like other servers that have been up way longer than them. With that said, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do because like, it's cause they are also still doing, you know, level 90 clash skill changes, which is kind of weird because those skills just abruptly change. Once you get to level 90, then you have to adapt to a new playstyle, which confused the hell out of me a little bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, the only struggle with getting to level eighty was uh gold. That that was that was the biggest struggle. Like all the gold I had, you know, at the start of that grind, instantly went down, and I only have like, I want to say, seventy to eighty gold left. <laughs> No, not 70. 700 to 800 gold left. So I am uh, I'm a little bit on the deep end there. <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't beat it. So I was just, you know, basically testing the water. They removed the wasp nest inside of that dungeon as well. That's another thing that I did notice about it, which is interesting. But yeah, here we are. We are at level... 78 so now we're getting pretty much situated for that and i will say this also i i've seen like the transformations for druid i i ain't gonna lie to you that that gorilla transformation looks ugly i ain't gonna lie to you i'm gonna hold you i'm gonna be as honest as i can be that gorilla transformation for level 90 looks disgusting <laughs> I say you shouldn't even call it gorilla. It's it's definitely a cyclops model. <laughs> like, ill, disgusting. <laughs> but um, another thing that I did want to bring up um, fuck, what was it? It was another thing I did want to talk about. The fact that they are, oh yeah, the fact that they are changing, like, the models and everything is actually pretty nice. Because Wolf model was pretty meh. And I actually like the model they actually replaced it with. Bird model, I think they replaced it with, you know, just a little bit of recoloring. Because at first I'd seen the video to where it was like a whole golem. And that was actually pretty interesting. The only sad part about playing Druid is that you can't enjoy transformations as much as the other classes can, because those candies inside of the um, inside of the um, item mall are actually extremely good, because some of them give you life steal, some of them give you other things, but Druids can't benefit from that. That's the only sad part. Now, if we could like use those candies. You know, and go into our transformation and those effects still stay there. You know, you would come out of Druid form, we're still in that form. That would be cool, but it doesn't work that way. Druid, once Druid transforms out of a transformation, it instantly, you know, cuts that buff off. Like, we can't enjoy, Druids can't enjoy any of those transformation items. Not even the Anubis transformation, we can actually, like, truly enjoy and like switching in, switching out, you know, doing stuff like that. 
it 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 sucks to being a druid. That I, most people don't play druid because of all the transformation stuff as well. But most people do play druid because druid is like very very overall just like the most universal class that you can actually like use. Cuz if you like I said before, if you need an off tank, a gorilla form, if you need another DPS, wolf form or bird form as well because bird form has dot damage and if you need basically a normal healer human form i mean bird form is actually kind of good in healing as well because it also gives you evasion when healing in it so you can have like half dps basically a sub healer that gives evasion and you can keep putting on debuffs and everything as well. So bird form is also good for debuffing too. Because it has a lot of debuffing abilities to where it takes down damage and defense. Plus you won't take as much aggro inside of bird form. If you're just around letting your tanks do everything while you're sub healing as well. That's the thing. I think about this stuff a lot as a druid. <laughs> That's the life of a druid man. That's all I can tell you man. But yet, I don't like partying with people. I'm just too fucking lazy to get all of that going. All right, so we're on the final stretch, level 80. So, back to what I was saying. Um, Grand Fantasia has breeded greedy players. I, I've already talked about this once. I'm going to have to tech, talk about it again, just so everybody can get this in their head. Grand Fantasia has breeded greedy players. So there's a lot of people who enjoy soloing because of the official server. That's the way they had it set up to where you could just easily run through dungeons. People aren't used to partying up with people because people never like the rolling system and rolling for their gear that they need. They always like the separate loot format. But here's the thing. Grand Fantasia, the official server is already made it to where you can just have multiple accounts up at once which causes people to you know double down on creating multiple accounts and having this account up having that account up have that character sit inside the dungeon while you're killing everything go back out turn that quest in people did that shit a lot that's the sad part so that kind of ruined us ruined the chance of ever getting like you know a system to where we can all get separate loot because it was it was basically very easy to solo. We enjoyed it that way. There was no reason to go into parties because we didn't like sharing gear with other players. Because think about it, it's demoralizing if you if there's a rare drop that occurs from a boss that you need, but somebody else needs it too, and they roll and they get it, then it's just like, damn, I really need that. Now I have to do way more runs than I would love to. Imagine if that keeps happening over and over and over. It puts you inside this RNG loop that you really start to get demoralized from. It happens. It, it has happened. That's why I started solo because it's happened three times of me trying to get my Tree of Life scroll and me getting grouped up with other druids. Either that or <laughs> either that or There'll be people who ninja it and also roll on it when they don't need it and they would win it. The dice is all RNG, which sucks. And that's why most people enjoy soloing inside of Grand Fantasia because of that whole situation of greed. Welcome to Grand Fantasia. Blame the official server for that shit. But um, yeah, we're <laughs> we're pretty much getting to the end of this. Um, like I said, I it's time to go to the next next server, and I will come back to this and grind all the way up to level eighty five. That is all the footage I have, so I'm going to be talking into the darkness. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that. But um, yeah, and I will come back to this as soon as I'm done with all the other servers, and within that time, hopefully, they will have everything flushed out, and you know all the skills they want to change, so I can get like them placed inside of you know give, give them my true opinion on the game 
because I don't want to give a half-baked opinion on their private server and it automatically just changes out of nowhere. Then it's just like, okay, this is a misleading video at this point. So I'm going to give them time to, you know, do all that and I will come back as they are my, they'll be my final server. So like, you know, great. So with that said, I will see you guys on the next one. And the next private server will begin um, probably tomorrow. With that said, peace out. So also, this is a chance to put in for your private server. If you guys want me to try out a certain private server, this is now the chance to put it down in the comments. But yeah, peace out.